Hey guys, and welcome back to my rather messy workbench. So I was given this uh, Asus laptop that um, appeared to be completely dead. It turned out that there was a shorted capacitor on the logic board, so I snipped it out, and this machine here is now fully operational. The only problem is, apart from the fact that it's missing uh, an SSD, is that I don't have a charger for it, and it uses a rather nasty 4mm plug. So, um, of course, this machine will actually come in quite useful as like a, a throwaway lab computer. It's from 2019, so it's still still has some life left. Um, so I thought, well, why don't we just get rid of this really ugly connector and make it uh, EU compliant by converting it to uh, USB-C. So there are they sell these small boards here from China. You can get them for uh, like a euro or something. And I think, looking at the board, that there may be just enough space to get rid of this connector here and stick the USB-C uh, board in its place. So the, the, um, the, 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 the laptop expects 19 volts to work. This uh, uh, outputs at 20, which is a USB-C PD specification. So this should probably be totally fine and... Uh, Let's see where we go. So, first of all, we need to remove the logic board from here and then remove the connector. Um, unfortunately, the design of this, um, the hinge for the display bolts on top of the logic board. So, taking it apart may be a bit more of a struggle. Uh, it's not really as nicely engineered as the MacBooks that I'm, usual, um, I'm usually work on. So, let's just uh, remove the screws, take a closer look at the logic board and see what we can do. So after a few rather painful minutes, the board is out and uh, I'm just checking uh, what we have here to play with. So this is the connector that needs to come off. Um, you see, it's we have quite a bit of height uh, at our disposal, but the problem is that we don't have enough depth to accommodate the entire board because if you look at this aligned, then so basically from here on the keyboard starts. So this will bang on the keyboard and that's a bit of a problem. So I can either chop this board here off and just kind of rearrange some components on it to make it fit. Or what I could do is maybe do a recess on this PCB and just sink this in a little bit further and mount it on the other side, which of course here we don't have this, this um, space problem. So uh, either way, this connector here has to come off. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then after removing this, we'll probably see how is the best option to package uh, this module here in. And I'm also saying all of this, but I actually never tried plugging this onto the uh, notebook. So it's gonna be quite fun if I then discover that it doesn't work, but I mean, there's no going back. It's, it was free, so it's not gonna be a big problem if, if I mess it up. Okay, so the old connector has been removed, um, rather forceful, forcefully removed, but uh, it's no use to us, out. And now it's time to figure out how to place the new one. And I've been looking at this and, well, today is not really a good day for focusing, isn't it? But it just barely doesn't fit. So what I could actually do, since this is all ground, I can snip off half of the holes. So basically like this much and this much. So I will have an exposed ground pad on both sides, dunk in the connector, and then solder it down on the sides, making it really, really rigid. Then I will put some captain tape on top of this IC, so it will not short out with the board. And then I will run a jumper from here to the voltage input. That, I think it's probably the best way to go. And uh, here's the final result. So the board is soldered in. Um, there is a wire that connects it to the input of the barrel jack. I had to build a rather nasty support because I cut away a bit too much uh, PCB but this will also serve as the grounding. So there it is, we have a USB-C power input now, and uh, let's see if it will actually work.
Hey, there you go. So it's pulling about seven watts as the board starts up, but yeah, it seems to be working, fantastic. So what we need to do now is perform some minor adjustment to the chassis in order to make uh, the larger hole. This will probably just mean snipping out some plastic, to be honest. And after that, we should be good to go. And there we go, it's charging uh, 33 watts. Uh, the battery is completely dead because the laptop was dead. I'm actually using the IKEA Huss charger I reviewed uh, a few videos ago, which is 45 watts. That's exactly the same rating as the Asus charger that shipped with it. I managed to add dimples on the top case as well. Yeah, because I got the wrong screws, but it's not pretty. Uh, it's gonna run out of battery in a second, but it's not pretty but it's gonna work. So I just plug it in and uh, there we go. So another computer saved from the dead. I need to find an NVMe SSD for it, but um, yeah, unnecessarily complicated, but now EU compliant. Thanks a lot for watching and catch you next time.